Welcome to another scriptural study. As always, feel free to place your screens on full screen and feel free to stop the YouTube video at any time to get the full value of the scriptural passages being shared, let alone the related information. As you have probably noticed by now, the scriptural studies on this YouTube channel revolve around the scriptural subject matter of words, names, and the Torah, which includes the calendar that hangs in the heavens. And these three scriptural topics regrettably caused great commotion in this world in the past, just as it does today, because they summarize and provide the details of and actual direction into the way of Yahuwah. And to date, the world and those that still have a desire to remain in it do not want to be set apart in the way of Yahuwah. We have received many emails of late. If the new moon, full moon, can be on different days in different parts on earth. The scriptural and astronomical answer anyway is emphatically no. It is impossible for the new moon, the full moon, to be on different days in different parts on earth. Here is the proof, and thus why the new moon, as full moon, is the same everywhere on earth, month after month. As an example, it was new moon day for the second month from Yahuwah and his calendar that hangs in the heavens in my location of Barrie, Ontario, Canada, on the pagan day, Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. The full moon did not become 100% illuminated until 11.44 a.m. well after sunrise on the 21st of May, which was actually at 5.44 a.m. again on the pagan day, Saturday, May 21st, 2016. And the full moon stayed 100% illuminated up to 22.38 or 10.38 p.m., on that same day, which was the 21st of May. Thus announcing, New Moon Day would commence at sunrise on the following day, on the 22nd. Here is another example. In Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, on the pagan day of Saturday, May 21st, 2016, the full moon became 100% illuminated from 17.34 p.m. on the 21st, all the way to... 4.39 a.m. on the following pagan day of Sunday, May 22nd, 2016, well before sunrise on the 22nd, thus announcing New Moon Day would indeed commence at sunrise on the same day of Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. Here is another example, this time coming to us from Sacramento, California, in which the full moon on the 21st of May, the Saturday, did not become full at 100% illumination until 8.34 a.m., well after sunrise on the 21st, which was at 5.48 a.m., again on the pagan day, Saturday, May 21st, 2016. And this full moon remained 100% illuminated up until 19.39 or 7.39 p.m., again on the same day, which was the 21st or Saturday of May. Again, this helps us to understand that New Moon Day would commence at sunrise the following pagan day, which was Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. Here is another example. In Singapore, Malaysia, on the 21st of May, 2016, which was a Saturday, the full moon did not become 100% illuminated until 11.34 a.m. Again, well after sunrise, which was 6.55 6 a.m., as you can see on the visual in the Excel worksheet. The full moon remained 100% illuminated all the way up to 10.38 a.m., the following pagan day on Sunday, May 22nd, thus announcing that new full moon day did indeed commence at sunrise on the pagan day, which was again Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. And here is a final example, and this time it comes to us from New York, USA. 
The full moon did not become 100% illuminated until 11.34 a.m., well after sunrise, which was 5.33 a.m. on the pagan day of Saturday, May 21st, 2016. And the full moon remained 100% illuminated all the way to 22.39 or 10.39 p.m. on this same day, which is the 21st or Saturday of May, thus announcing that the new full moon day would indeed commence at sunrise on the following pagan day, which was Sunday, May 22nd, 2016. And as always, please do not take my word for it and or anyone else's for that matter. Get out in creation and see what Yahuwah provides with his calendar that hangs in the heavens with his sun and moon fully 100% illuminated with the stars. It is truly a wonderful thing to see month after month. I only noticed this beautiful consistency because... I had the opportunity to go outside in creation in many of these locations as I've had the privilege of being able to travel to all of these points on earth and many more. And the sun and the moon, when fully 100% illuminated with the stars, never disappoints. But if you utilize other methodologies, yes, you will run into confusion. One of these methodologies is by utilizing the world's international dateline. Think, did Moshe or Moses in the desert ever have to be concerned with man-made things like the international dateline? Enough said. So please see the past YouTube video we released once again on how to utilize the attached Excel worksheets to forecast sunrise, sunset, moonset, and moonrise daily events along with the percent phases of the illumination of the moon by minute, daily. And based on the feedback, we will now include up to five witnesses, or five cities, proving that New Moon Day is always the same everywhere on Earth. Hallelujah! But as always, get out there and see Yahuwah and His handiwork for yourselves, as we can read in the book of Tehillim, or Psalms, chapter 19, verse 1. You will be very glad that you did, and as such, you will experience the consistency of the only one new moon day that Yahuwah planned in advance and maintains to this day for those who desire this true Sabbath timing peace, and or as some would share, timing peace on earth. So please continue to review and critique my work as well, because many excellent folks in the Word have found some key entry errors on my part for the attached 2016-2017 forecast that I have already corrected. If you want a copy of this 2016-2017 forecast on the Excel spreadsheets, feel free to respond to the email address family1 at rogers.com and we will send it immediately. So keep the critiques coming. And thank you for the learning and all of the witnessing from all of you all over this earth that verify and witness the forecast data out in creation. Well done. The quest together as one to become fully set apart in the way of Yahuwah has been just wonderful. And we thank all of you that believe that there is only one teacher and that is indeed the Messiah. And thank you as well, ensuring that what we share together as one is given freely to others, just as we have received freely. Hallelujah. So in closing, and as always, we hope and pray that these scriptural studies provide value to you and your loved ones. Till next time, Yahuwah willing, all the best in the name which is above all names.